The production designer is basically responsible for the way the film looks. So he'll work very closely with the director in realising what the director wants, the way it will be coloured, the props that are used, the themes, the era, all of that. Um, so it's essentially every single frame that you see up on screen will have a production designer and an art director. And uh, yeah, it's essentially how the production looks. I guess that's a conversation that you have to have with the director. You know, the colour of the film, the mood of the film, the themes, you know, whether it's happy, whether it's sad. You know, that's the director's choice that, they, that he might want to, you know, use signals, colours, you know, to communicate various emotions. So it may factor in, you know, the, the set, props, it may factor in the wardrobe. I mean, in very simple terms, you know, if something's, if people are in love, you know, pinks and reds and things like that, and if it's very dark, then, you know, you're, you've, you've got the sort of goth, the darker. You know, colours communicate emotion, emotions, so, you know, you don't want to have something that's going to be distracting for um, some dialogue in a film, for instance. Realistically, good art direction is a lot of hard work. Unless you find like an amazing location, you know, and all the props are there, but you know, that's just very rare. It's not going to happen. So, you know, you can take for granted that, oh, a scenario looks like that because it's been really well art directed. You know, you want to put the whole world into a film sometimes, and sometimes you just can't afford to do that. Um, but here we have props. We can make toadstools, we'll make beehives, you know, I mean, the. The things that I get asked to make are wide and varied, and I want to make our props accessible uh, cost-wise for independent filmmakers. So there's various you know, ways of paying and things like that that I'm interested in, uh, in developing. I think it's all about building relationships with people. You have to, you know, get good working relationships with your local prop house, for instance, but also suppliers, wood suppliers. Keep, keep your eye out for things that have been thrown away, you know, be resourceful. Um, rather than having to buy stuff, you know, th there's, ways, there's ways around it. And Artists in Asia, you know, we have a, a wardrobe store, well, wardrobe props, we have materials, and I really want to add value to production design and make accessible good production design where every frame counts and every frame looks good.